Okay, everyone, let's get on to the next part of this uh, this layout, creating this layout. All right, so we're at the point where we now, to, now need to take care of our three columns. So um, let's just start with the left column here. So I'm just going to select it, uh, come down to my HTML, select that, that div down there, and then click the new CSS rule. And it writes me this nice name here my nice selector. Um, again, what that means, the reason why there's three names there, the one on the furthest right is the is the specific one. So that's the left call I'm going to write this rule for. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a background color in this just temporarily so we can see it show up. Just because you can see where that is there. Alright, so um, First of all, I've got to come over here and tell it the width. So if you remember, I wanted the, the total width of this, this to be 150. So I'm going to have 120 on the width plus um, 15 pixels of cell padding. Okay, so there you can see it moved over there. And um, now we're going to talk a little bit about float, where you may have seen float before is when um, often when you have an image and it's uh, next to a paragraph and you want the text of the paragraph to wrap around it, you tell that image to float to the left or the right, and when it floats to the left or the right, it kind of pulls it out of its normal order and then has causes the text to wrap around it. Same kind of thing here. So I'm going to tell this to float to the left. Um, now, when it floats to the left, something interesting is going to happen. This div tag, the center column div tag that's sitting there underneath it, the reason that that is underneath it right now is um, because the the left column is taking up that space. But as soon as I tell this to float left, it's going to pull it out of the normal flow of the document. That div, that left, that center called div, is going to jump up and and act like the. Uh, the left column's not even there. Although the content of that center call div will not, it will, it will recognize that uh, that there's content there, and it'll it'll pull over kind of like it's going to wrap. Um, but the, the the center call div itself will actually be underneath, and we'll kind of see that here in a second. So I'm going to say apply. As soon as I apply that, that div floats to the right, and everything else on the page wraps now or floats up underneath it. Um, so it's like I just pulled out that left column div, that rectangle, I pulled it out of the document. It's kind of sitting on top. It's floating on top of everything. It happens to be floating to the left. Um, and that's going to be okay for now. Um, so that's all I'm going to do to that one. Okay, so basically I just put a background color in, which is, like I said, just temporary, and then set the size of it, the width here, the height. I'll leave blank because the height is determined by the content. Okay. Okay, so let's go into the center column and let's write a rule for that. Okay, so I'm just checking to make sure I've got it identified. Okay, so let's put a background color in there just so we can kind of see it shows showing up. Okay, so there's my, well, maybe different than blue because that's, we're already using that on the background. Okay, so there's my center column. All right, so let's go down to the box. So this one I wanted the final one to be 650, so I'm going to put 620 in for the width and put 15 in for the padding. Click apply. Okay, so you can see it makes that size. Now if you look close, you can see that this um, center uh, column div, it's sort of you're kind of seeing it selected and it's underneath there. That's because the left column's floated. If I tell this one to also float left, you can see it pulls out from underneath, so it comes out of the content and it floats to as far as left as it can. Um, <clears throat> uh, and it butts up right up against my my left column. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for that one. Now we've got to go here and work on the right column. Okay, so same basic idea here. When I select that, notice that right column is underneath everything because those other two are sort of pulled out and are floating above. Okay, so I'm going to write this selector for the, this rule for the for the right column. Same kind of thing here. Just put a little background color in so we can see where this is. So you can see I got that orange going there, and go right to box. This one is the same as the left column. All right, apply. Let me move this out of the way. Um, so you can see it didn't quite fit. So I've got a few in. We've got a little extra width here. Um, so 
I'm just gonna if I make this one just a little smaller for right now let's just see what happens okay not quite enough I'm just curious here if I can oh I know why we gotta tell this one to float left okay we can make it the right width sorry okay alright so with that you can see I've got my three columns side by side um, the reason they're different heights is just because of the content. If I were to come in here um, and just put a P tag in, you can see it pushes those down. Um, now, because I floated all three of those, the um, the container div that these are part of, you can see this container div right there, it doesn't really recognize that these are inside of it. And then the footer um, as well just pulled itself up um, so you can't even tell where the footer is. It's actually what well, you can tell, it's underneath all of these. So um, let's take care of the footer next because we need to tell it that as soon as we're done with these three columns, we need to stop the float from happening. Okay, so I'm going to find that footer. It might be kind of hard to, to get that footer selected. Um, might actually have to go in the code here, come down to the footer, click inside there, and get a new style. So it's my footer. There we go. Um, now, the only thing I'm going to need here for the, the style of this footer, actually, you know what? I already got a footer. Sorry, I forgot about that. There's the footer ta ta uh, rule. So. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just going to add to that. So I select it and we're going to edit that. And the way you edit it is you select it over here under the All Rules, find the footer, I uh, come down to the toolbar. Instead of hitting the plus, hit the pencil, which will edit it. And go to Box. Now um, you can see where the float is. That's where we floated those three columns. Um, I'm going to come to Clear. And here we're going to say Clear Both, which just means if there's any float happening above the footer which there is in this case all three of those um, column divs are floating to the left I want that I want it to stop the idea of floating and then everything else will happen just normal um, I need to split this back to design here so you can see that now that that float has happened okay or not the float the clear so I've cleared the float so then the rest of the stuff on the page recognizes um, that it needs to act normal basically. So I've cleared the float and that means that the bottom of the um, container div um, acts normal. So you can see if you remember here's my three columns right there um, and they're all floated now so they're sort of pulled out of the document and, it, and, it, and the rest of the document doesn't know what's going on but as soon as I tell the footer to clear then um, it sort of ends this float from right after they finish to the rest of the page so then the rest of the page acts like normal okay and I've got uh, and then I've got these three things so I would wa I'd want to now go in and take out um, the background color because I don't really need the background color anymore um, notice though when I click inside and start putting content in here as soon as I hit return it puts p tags in and one of the properties of the p tag so I've got this paragraph right there is that it has space above and below um, and when that space above say that word content there plus the padding here uh, goes in it creates too much space so I could either um, uh, change what the paragraph does or take off that top padding and I think because um, I don't need that much space above each of these words so I can just take off the uh, padding off of each of these so um, I'm going to select left call to start with edit go to box uncheck same for all and just delete that out of there okay and I'm going to do that in each one center column edit box uncheck same padding for all and just delete that value that value out and then the same thing for the right column edit box uncheck delete okay so that looks okay um, alright so now uh, in our next tutorial we're going to talk about uh, working on our navigation bar here across the top